So this is going to be circuit problem number one, number one of four circuits we're going to be looking at today, each one harder than the last. So here's the first one. We have a battery connected to three resistors in this configuration like this. And let's say it's a 20 volt battery. I'll say this resistance is six ohms. This resistance is one ohm and this resistance is three ohms. And what I'd like to do is, like, there's different questions I can ask. For instance, I can ask the voltage across a resistor. I can ask for the current across a resistor. I can ask for the power. But what I'm going to ask for is I want to find everything. And so that way, when I find everything, the current across every resistor, the voltage across every resistor, and the power across every resistor, we will now have everything you could possibly want to solve for in a circuit, and you will be the most prepared for taking your test if you can find everything. So as far as strategy goes for this problem, the first thing I would do is combine all my resistors to a single resistor. That involves first identifying if these resistors are in series or parallel. The correct answer is that all three of these resistors are in series. And the reason why is because if I was a car driving down this circuit, I only have one road I can go down everywhere. And when there's only one path, that's series. Parallel is when there's two roads or you come across a fork in the road. So all these resistors are in series, which means I can add them by just adding them together. R total equals six plus one plus three looks like the total resistance is 10 ohms. Great. And as soon as I find the total resistance, that means I can redraw the circuit, which I always like to do, and I'm gonna draw it now as a single resistor. By the way, I could put the resistor anywhere I want. I could have put it here, could have put it there, but it doesn't matter where I put it, so I'll just put it here. And this resistor I'm saying is 10 ohms, and the battery is still 20 volts. The reason why this helps me is because now I can find the current in the whole circuit right here, or in the very least, the current coming out of the battery, which as I'll explain in a minute, since all these resistors are in series, the current is the same everywhere. Remember that fact, when you have resistors in series, the current is the same everywhere. And this current I can find just by using Ohm's law, V equals I times R. So 20 volts equals I times 10, divide both sides by 10, we get I equals two amps. Excellent. So now that I have the current for the whole circuit, I can now go back to my original circuit diagram and find all the individual values. Because now I know that the current will say I1 is two amps. We know the current I2 is two amps. And we know the current I3 is two amps. And now all we need is the voltages. If I want to find the voltage for each of these individual resistors, then I just use Ohm's law for one of the resistors. So for instance, V1 equals I1 times R1, which I'm calling one the top resistor, the six ohm resistor. So voltage one equals the current, which we just said is two, times the resistance, which is six for that resistor. Voltage one is 12 volts for the six ohm. And then voltage two equals I2 times R2, Voltage 2 equals 2 amps times that second resistor is 1 ohm, so just times 1. That voltage is 2 volts. Done. And then voltage 3 equals I3 times R3, where voltage 3 is the 3 ohm resistor. The current is 2 amps, and the resistance is 3 ohms. That will give us 6 volts. Now, notice something here. If I add these three voltages together, 12 plus 2 plus 6, that gets me to 20 volts, which is exactly the same as the original battery. Is that a coincidence? No. Since all of these resistors are in series, they're in series, they have to add together to 20 volts. And now the only thing left to find, we found all the currents, we found all the voltages, the only thing left to find is the power in each resistor. And the cool thing is, as I said before, I have three power equations. Power equals V times I, power equals I squared times R, or power equals V squared over R. And so since I have all the values, it doesn't matter which one I choose. Let's use the first one because it's probably the simplest. So power one is gonna equal voltage one, which we said was 12 volts times the current two amps. So 12 times two, looks like the power is 24 and the units for power are watts. So that's power one. 
power two is going to equal that voltage, which was two volts times the current, which is two amps. That's gonna give me four watts for the one ohm resistor. And then for the three ohm resistor, it was a voltage of six volts times a current of two amps. We'll get 12 watts. And if I add these all together, then I get the total power. 24 plus four plus 12 is 40. So P total is 40 watts. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because if I find the power out of the battery, because I know the battery is 20 volts and it has a current of two amps, just like all the resistors, because everything's in series, the power coming out of the battery is 20 volts times two amps, which is 40 watts. And that is a much faster way of finding the total power dissipated in the circuit. You look at the total power by the battery, which is 40 watts. And so there we go. We just found everything for this circuit. By the way, this is about the easiest circuit I can think of. The only way I could possibly make it easier is if I had one resistor or two resistors in series. But this is a very easy example. The next few problems we're going to look at for circuits are going to be much more difficult. So check those out in the next videos. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.